Okay, this, this video here is just an update to the video that I did, I think it was yesterday? Yeah. Um, so, this is for fans, um, mask fans, costume, helmet fans, whatever. Anyway, yesterday I did one where it was, this is a Commodox um, up converter, converter or something like that, uh, where uh, you take a 3.7 volt and you can set it to um, 5 volts so you can get optimal use out of your battery. Uh, for your fans. Um, what I've done differently now, um, if you can see here, I'll try and zoom in and see. Um, uh, is it focused? I think it is. Um, let's get this wire out of the way. So what I've done differently, instead of having a wire, um, wires coming off and wires coming off there, instead I, I put um, this little thing on here and um, it's similar to these if you if you get a breadboard or something like that and um, just for general electronics it's kind of a box of miscellaneous things to um, make custom electronics um, things like this will be in there and these are the 90 degree angle ones so what I, I did was I took those and I soldered them into the board and these go directly to the fan and I use specifically this um, only for the fan uh, because the fans holes in its plug are actually larger um so the battery um does not want to fit on there naturally so it then makes it easier um for a user experience to be like oh well this fits and this doesn't so i know what to put where um aside from that uh, i looped the wires back and i also um uh, hot glued everything on here so they're less likely to pull out unless you give it a heck of a tug um, so then all of this will stay together um, and it loops back so uh, one thing will come in one direction then you can hide the battery around back um, yeah so then in addition to that after that um, I decided to wrap them up by doing a little shrink wrap this isn't the best looking one so it looks a, a lot more professional and uh, a lot more cleaned up um, now with this. Let's see, I think it's, it just doesn't want to focus at this distance. But um, yeah, so then it's all in there and I made sure that the red um, cable went to the left side because that's where you connect the red here, even though it's not directly connected to this, it just... It, it goes with the flow. Um, red, red. I also painted this red, um, which won't stay that way because as you add and remove, uh, it's actually not what would go there. It would be the fan that would go on there. Um, it just helps you know what to put where. So that's part one of this. So this is just a single fan version, similar, just less wiring. Um, and I, I like this build a lot better. Um, it also saves me some from cutting up more wires. Uh, the version, another version was, what if I want to do, let me zoom out. As, uh, oh, come on, help me out here. There we go, ish. So what if I want to do, okay, I'm gonna take this one out of here. That one's, we're done talking about that. This is, if you want to do two fans. So the difference is then you've got to plug in two fans off the um, output on this board. So it's it's a little more um, unsightly. Uh, so what I did was I, I couldn't obviously put two sets of prongs coming out of there. And instead, I just merged some wires and I brought it out to... I um, twisted them together and then split them out into a connector that comes back to one of these. And so what I did was I broke it off at the fifth one and snapped it apart, pulled out the middle pin. And so now I have a solid thing where if you can see, I've got two pins, two pins. I can connect both fans. I connect the red wires consistently. Um, and I kept the, I also glued, hot glued all this together. And I wanted to make sure that the red wires were visible, so you knew exactly where to connect the red wires. So and then I also painted the prong, but that's going to come off. Um, but anyway, for um, usability, um, keeping things simple. 
So now all it does is uh, the same thing as before, except now you're just feeding two fans. So just to demonstrate, there we go. Now, if you need a two fans in your helmet, that's a way to pull it off. Um, one thing that I did do, um, if you watched the video from yesterday, one of these fans, this one specifically, um, had actually the black wire had broken off the back because I'd manipulated it too much. Um, but what I've done now is um, put a dab of hot glue in there. Got to be careful if you do put any hot glue because it easily goes through and disrupts the fan. I had to go through and pull it back out and um, get it so the fan would move again. But uh, just basically locked up the fan. Um, but that wasn't too hard to fix. So just a dab enough to um, keep these things so they're not going to tug off the board again. And this one, you can see better. Um, this one I didn't have any problems with. Uh, I put a dab on there and it did not mess anything up. So... You can see it's just enough hot glue to, uh, you know, keep those solidified. So they're not going to, they're not actually bending at the board itself, um, which is your problem point where it's going to snap off. So all I'm going to do is just uh, put Velcro on any of these. I'll probably cover up this little mini bit that spins. Um, put a Velcro on them, put them in the helmet, and I've got it where I can do single or double. And um, really this, you know, it was like around 20 bucks ish um, or a pinch over if you use the larger battery, which I guess you would want to for, uh, two fans. Uh, this is again, the 3000 milliamp. Um, so then it would be a pinch over 20 bucks and then add another five and a half dollar fan. Um, unless you buy it from AliExpress. If you buy it from AliExpress, it's probably only a buck or something each. I don't, I don't know. It's AliExpress is basically where most of the folks get their stuff and supply it on Amazon, and they'll charge like $5 more or something like that. Um, but you're probably going to wait for it to ship from China. There are exceptions. They do, I think, ship from California as well. So if you do um, find something from the States, it's even better, um, and it'll be cheaper on there. So again, so maybe this is mid-20s, upper 20s, something like that, if you want a, a, um, a um, two-fan setup. So between 20 and 30 bucks, depending on how much time you put into it. Um, and uh, then, of course, labor on top of that. But uh, so all I'm going to do now that I've just kind of shared this visually with you is I'm just going to go back and uh, put some shrink wrap on these to clean them up so they look um, more professional like this. And um, just so no circuits are exposed and I'm less likely to top pull on the wires and uh, break anything off. Um, if you don't have something like this, this is this is a bulk pack of uh, shrink shrink tubing, heat shrink tubing, um, that, uh, I thought was overkill when I bought it. Um, turns out I've just been using the heck out of it. Um, so it's, it's just great to have on hand all the time. Um, and it, it just comes in a bunch of different sizes for all different stuffs. Um, you know, on the, um, individual size, um, cables like this, these are great. Um, and it's great that they have black and red. And then it gets up bigger, and I think I use this one for this particular wrap around here. And there's one even larger. So I um, hope that helps you out um, again. So it just uh, went up to two fans and cleaned up the original design. This is much better, much cleaner, um, less, less parts. Um, and uh, I really like how it turned out, and it's it just fits in really well. And it was a lot quicker to uh, solder together. So I hope that works out for you. Hope it helps. Um, uh, leave a thumbs up if it helped out. Um, feel free to subscribe. Take care. I'm out.